Yeah, one of the most common questions we get is who's a good prolotherapy candidate. Uh, part of the frustration being a prolotherapy doctor and also being a patient who has chronic pain is that certain structures of the body just don't show up on x-ray or MRI and those structures are basically the ligaments. Like this is a model of the hip. See how big these ligaments are? But yet these ligaments really don't show up good on uh, MRI and they don't show up uh, at all on x-ray. So somebody could have a significant ligament injury of the hip or some other joint and it just doesn't show up. So then they go from doctor to doctor, physical therapist, you know, various pain medications and nobody can figure out what's wrong. I'll just give you some clues as to how you can tell if you have a ligament injury and then you're a very good candidate of prolotherapy. One is if you have chronic muscle spasms in the area. When you have a ligament injury in a joint or the vertebral segments, that means you've lost the stability of that joint. So anybody with joint instability, hip instability, shoulder instability, neck instability, meaning that you're getting a cracking of the joint, you know, you're getting a cracking of the hip, cracking of the shoulder, a clicking sound, medical terms we call that crepitation that's a sign that you have joint instability. So joint instability is because some structure that stabilizes that joint that holds the bones together. That's what ligaments do, they hold the bones together. It means that the ligaments are torn or stretched out too much and the treatment you need to resolve the issue is prolotherapy. When the ligament is stretched out and the joint is unstable, the muscle spasms, the muscle spasms to stabilize the joint, well, Muscles were meant to move the joint. They're not meant to stabilize the joint. So that's why you start having pain because the muscles, they start fi get tired, fatigued. Eventually the muscles tire, then all that can happen is the body overgrows bone. Why does the body overgrow bone? And the overgrowth of bone is called what? Arthritis. So you get the overgrowth of bone to stabilize the joint. So anybody who's had the diagnosis of joint instability, ligament injury, they have chronic muscle spasms or they have arthritis in the joint, you're gonna be a prolotherapy candidate because the arthritis in the joint was caused because you had joint instability and the body is stabilizing or stiffening up. Doesn't arthritis stiffen up the joint? So why is the body stiffening up the joint? Well, it's stiffening up the joint because you, the joint was unstable. What's the treatment of, for joint instability or ligament injury in the joint? It's gonna be prolotherapy. So common conditions that respond great to prolotherapy means that you're a good prolotherapy candidate is any joint instability, ligament injury, uh, degenerative arthritis, anything, any structure that's injured that stabilizes a joint like meniscus injury, meniscus tear, labral tear in the shoulder or the hip, those conditions respond really good to prolotherapy. There's some minor uh, things we look for. Do you have the ability to heal? Obviously, I'd love it if you're not on anti-inflammatory medication or narcotic medication. But if you are on it and you get prolotherapy, we would switch you to other medications that don't inhibit healing. So those are some common conditions that someone would know that they're a good prolotherapy candidate.